This store has such a nice little window display. I already see like things attracting me from the outside. So we came over to Poway where we have two stores that we'd really, really like to shop in. Can you uh, be the keeper of the lucky cart? Because I need an extra hand to look at such cool things as this soft and comfy toilet seat covers, washable. I didn't even know that existed. Oh, how about a diamond pen? I kind of want one. What is that? Oh, is it tin? as planned. We had intended to get up and go to a different swap meet this morning, but it was just too nice to just lay in bed, I gotta say. So by the time we got up and got going, it was a little late to go to the swap meet. So we came over to Poway, where we have two stores that we'd really, really like to shop in. And we were just talking that we haven't been to these stores in like almost a year. So could either be like really cool, really good, we'll find lots of good stuff, or it could be like, eh, eh, wait a minute, that's like every day. <laughs> so, she's turning in, I'm hanging on, and uh, we'll get inside shortly. Let's get shop done. This store has such a nice little window display. I already see like things attracting me from the outside. Wait, I'm looking, I'm looking over here because some stuff just faces out. It just phases out and you got to look at it from the outside. She left me. She already went in. <laughs> okay. This store also doesn't have traditional baskets. So we got to use one of these for our lucky cart. Okay. She's digging right into the books. This is actually known as their bookstore. So you know what? Can you uh, be the keeper of the lucky cart? I need an extra hand to look at such cool things as this little serving cart thing. I don't think it's that old. It's just fun. We've got some boxes that held something. I don't know what. Yeah, this is definitely the bookstore. Got some pillows up there. Cornhole! We love cornhole. I have one that I set up in my backyard. Do have to look up on top of where the books are because they do put stuff up here too. Wits End, age 16 to adult. Hmm. Let's see, it's fun to be at your wits end. It's one of the most challenging and entertaining games you're ever likely to play. You will quickly find out how much you know and how well your brain really works. Trivia brain teasers. Huh. That does look kind of fun. All right, I might, uh, might get that if it's a good price. Let's see, it's $7.99. So when then when I'm looking at something like that, I'll look up and see what it's going for online just to make sure I'm getting a really good deal. So I, I just looked it up and it goes for like $18 to $20 online. So I will probably end up taking that home. If I don't find anything better. Dogs with jobs puzzle. <laughs> Love it. Soft and comfy toilet seat covers. Washable. I didn't even know that existed. And now uh, that's about it on the top of this shelf. All right, loaded questions, adult version. Hmm. Another fun looking game. I'll have to point that out to uh, Jordan. Oh, here's another one of those artist loft pieces. I keep picking these up for Rachel, but I have two that she hasn't done yet. So now I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until she does those ones before I buy more. That's the Disney Trivial Pursuit. That might actually be worth some money. It's a 1986 version. I am going to look that up. They're asking 
Oh, this is another victim of race to the bottom. I remember when the Disney Trivial Pursuit sold really, really well, like 40, 50 bucks. And now it's down to about 15. Darn it. So this store is more like a boutique. It's not like a traditional Goodwill. Uh, so they tend to put more like home goods in here and that sort of thing. Things that appeal to, you know, the demographic that they have shopping here. Which really might not bode well for me finding a whole lot for resale. Uh, because I am really predominantly looking for vintage and I'm looking for art glass and pottery and that sort of thing that falls into that. So... We'll keep looking though. It's a fun store to look through and see how they've got everything all kind of laid out and merchandised. It's an enjoyable place to shop, but it's looking like it's not going to be a great place for me to find stuff. I see a piece of Temptations. Now the green old world pattern is one of the most common patterns that you're going to find out there. Um, I don't really pick this one up because it, there's so much of it out there and that one is $7.99. This piece probably sells for like 12 to 15. So I am gonna leave that. Take a peek. This, it is a Fitz and Floyd for $9.99, but it's, it's not like one of the really sought after Fitz and Floyd pieces. And that is Indiana glass down there. A little uh, berry set actually. I do kind of like this with all of the uh, all of the sunflower bowls. So there are five small bowls and then the one master bowl is what they would call this. I'm not sure I, you know now that I, I think I still do think it is Indiana glass, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm probably gonna look it up a little bit. It's 12.99 for all the pieces, which is not bad big, bulky. I uh, really wouldn't want to ship this whole set, so I am going to leave it, but kind of a cool find. Are those owls? Are those Odagiri owls? Oh, they are. It is $9.99 for a set of four of them. Makes them like $2.50 each. Yeah, unfortunately, just because it's Odagiri does not mean it sells for really good money, so I will leave that. If they were like 99 cents each, I probably would have picked them up. Devonshire Jewelry Company. What do we have in here? It's in a baggie. It's a flask. They're flasks. I'm not going to pull it out, but you can see it's in there. I wonder why that comes from a jewelry company. It's very interesting. Okay, you get back over there. Looks like, oh wait, are those the same thing? Oh, yep, they're the same thing. They retailed at $36. There you go. Right back the way it was. Okay, let's see. Lots of really contemporary stuff in here. I really like the look of this. But not enough to buy it. Oh, there's some Ray Dunn salt and peppers for $4.99. But see, here's what happened is now you can find the Ray Dunn at like Home Goods and and TJ Maxx and those kind of places and the prices of course have been reduced significantly um, so I tend to just uh, pass the Ray Dunn right on by White Mountain I like these I'm I, not for resale I like these for me for some reason they caught my eye so I had to look they have everything merchandised you know kind of in color palettes which I really, really like shopping because it gives you like decorating ideas too as you're going through. And then like even the colors of the clothing is, is very pleasant. You see, we got the blacks and we got the pinks and we got, I don't know what these colors like, earth tones. That's what that is over there. Got more of these <laughs> just empty boxes. This is a wine holder by Giftcraft. It's a big shoe. Ampersand. We've got a nice oyster plate. Oh, it's very heavy. It is made by Hall. 
Interesting. $7.99. I'm going to look up and see what that goes for. So this is interesting. When you're looking things up, you, you have to do a little bit of a reading between the lines thing too, because there is one of these that sold for $12, but there's also a brown version of this that sold for $39. And I think that $12 was just a seller who sold it too cheap. So I'm picking that up. Let's see what this, oh, give me a J. It's a J mug. <laughs> Circa with, oh, is it? It's Oh, it sure is. That's really not like the stores to have something chipped like that. This is a fun set, but it's all taped in here together and I can't see. Who makes you? Who makes you? Is it on the thing here somewhere? Let's look underneath. Oh, no, it's not. So we really need to see one of these outside of the, um, the packaging here. Let me see. Let me see if I can get one. So this is intriguing. It is a handmade ceramic Rhodos grease and it's a complete set of six cups and saucers for $20. So that's another one. I'm going to look up real quick. So this set would sell in the $30 to $40 range online so I can't pay 20 for it but it was fun to look oh that's got some neat coloring on it let's see who makes you do you have a name nope just says made in China on the bottom has a nice look though all right let's see what's down here we've got I think another Ray Dunn item over here the peppermint jar. Are you Ray Dunn? You are Ray Dunn. $14.99. Like I said, this, this store is more of a boutique, so their prices are a little, a little high, but I know that going in. I set my expectations that way. And then there's no being upset by anything. Oh, wait, what's this one here? Oops. Okay, this tile. There you go. Stay. I want to see this. You're a Coles little Samplos canister. All right. What do we have down here? We have the Fa La 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 Lama tea gift set. <laughs> Goodness. Ah, how old are you? Mm, best by May 31st, 2022. So it's it's not quite out of date yet but it's getting there fast. I'm more interested in the llama cup and tea, um, what do you call that? What do you call that thing? When you put the tea, tea strainer, that's it. That's it. I couldn't find this particular thing listed, so I'm just not sure. And because it's Christmas themed, I think I'm gonna leave it, but that's a fun, that's a fun piece right there. And then there's some nice mugs that don't have a maker. All right. <gasps> Give me an age. What do we got? A well-told glass. Looks like it's got Tampa. Okay, so it's got like um, some Florida mappage in there. Interesting. There's never really going to be a huge resale value on a single cup or mug. So you got to be careful if you go for stuff like that. All right, nice boots. What is this? A crate cover. You already have a crate cover for little Miss Daisy. Berry Way. Berry Way. Berry, berry Way. Berry Way. Those are not, they're, they're just, they're just not even salt and peppers or anything. They're just they're just objects. They're just decor pieces. I just spotted some attractive dishes down here. I don't know why I really like the look of these. They're Val do Sol, made in Portugal. I'm not buying them. I just I like them. I like them. Got some nice little purses here. 
Rosetti. Those are both Rosettis. Hmm. Nothing else exciting. Let's see what you are. A little bamboo carving. <gasps> Some letters. Give me an F. Give me an A. Give me a B. All right. Just more home decor. They have a lot of boots here. I feel like it's a little out of boot season. So I'm not sure how that's going for them. I can't remember if I looked over here. I don't think I did. Whatever you do, don't make me laugh so hard. Coffee comes out of my nose. <laughs> oh, well, alrighty then. Oh, it's a shoebox greetings one. And nothing here. Oh, look at that cute little set. The whole little woodland creatures with the, uh, I think that's the, is that the, rac oh, it's a raccoon. I thought it was a sloth. It's not. It's a raccoon. How much are you? You are $9.99. Not a bad price. Skylanders. You are Avengers Ensemble. I don't know who you are, but you're Avengers. I did a quick look up on this and um, I see some listed quite high. And I think I can't go wrong at 10 bucks. I may not make a huge amount of money and this might be a perfect gift for somebody, ha somebody having a baby. So I'm gonna grab it. Okay, who's this guy? He's got his tags, he's a Fluffy Buddy, Rhode Island novelty. It's just a fluffy buddy. He's not super high quality either. And then there's a troll plush. Ooh, who are you? Are you from Star Wars? Yeah, you are from Star Wars. You're a Star Wars kind of dude. I don't, I just, he doesn't bring me joy. I know he might totally sell, but there's something about him that's just a little creepy. I don't think I want him hanging around my house. So I'm going to leave in for somebody else. I do see a frog. I see a frog hiding in this basket. He's not anything fantastic, though. He is... I can't read under the Goodwill tag, but he's just not... Yeah, he's nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Ooh, how about a diamond pen? I kind of want one. This one's got, like, bougie blue color. Who doesn't need a diamond pen? Just saying. Here is a piece of Fostoria coin glass. And I really love this stuff. And they call it coin glass because these are, it's pressed glass and all the little frosted symbols are supposed to be coins. Five bucks, not a bad price for a little sherbet dish, but I'm gonna leave it because they don't have a real good resale value. So I don't need to pick that one up today. Oh, that is a speaker. Who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk? I thought it was a candle holder. Oh, it's this little cute little nappy dish. You are spring violets, Rosetti, for $2.99, made in occupied Japan. I will grab that. We've got doves. Ooh, that's kind of a pretty, um, I think this one is a I don't know. Is this an oyster? Now I was going to say deviled egg, but no, I think this is another oyster dish. I think it is. And since I already got one oyster dish, if I'm going to list and sell oyster dishes, I might as well have a couple of them to attract my ideal customer in. So uh, for $3.99, I'm going to grab this one and figure out who the maker is and all of that good stuff. That should show up in my recap if I can figure it out. So be sure you stay for that where I show you what I bought how much it will sell for and what I paid for it. Oh, there's some pretty purple glasses down here, but they don't have a really good feel. So I often talk about this, like wine glasses, really high quality wine glasses will have a balance to them. And I know these are um, mart martini or margarita? Small margarita. I don't know. Even that is not quite right. Um, but there's like, no balance the base is not heavy enough 
to keep that full drink from, you know, being precarious. So pretty. They're very decorative looking. And $7.99 is a really good price for, what is this? They say there's nine of them. One, two, three, four, five. No, I see six. Six. That's a six, not a nine. So really good price. They're just not very good. We've got some kind of this bark pattern glasses. It's a set of four for $7.99. That's a good price. They are cool looking. I will give them that. Okay, Jordan was contemplating getting this little dresser. I kind of think she should for 10 bucks. She has little spaces to put things. This would solve a problem. The other cool thing about this is she could paint this any color she wanted to because it's that raw wood. I think I'm going to talk her into that. All right, what's on these shelves today? Little candle holders. Let's see how much they are. It's probably on this one, so it's $6 with cobalt blue candle holders. I think I could probably get very close to tripling my money on those. Let's see how much the little blue vase, it kind of looks like it goes with it. Hmm. He's five dollars. Do I want him? I don't know. I don't know. There's something I really like about these. So I'm going to get these. I think I saw her just roll out a cart of things. Pretty colors on that vase. And it's, it is hand turned, but it's not so Oh, it is. Is it signed under that? Three ninety nine. It's a newer piece, though, and I tend to just stay away from newer pieces, even though that's really pretty. All right. Who makes you? These are Graydon Hall, which is a good brand. Not special enough to take up room in the car on this trip, though. What is that? Oh, is it tin? <gasps> it is a tin for $1.99. It's a uh, Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Oh, but it's also got Oliver Twist, David Copperfield, Pickwick Papers, Tale of Two Cities, and Christmas Carol is the one on the end. Love that. Okay, okay, I'm grabbing that. Okay, I gotta set my little tin back down for a second as I look over here at this little Grace by Teaware. wear Like if that was a whole set, I'd probably get it because that it's a pretty decent brand. Um, and they're good quality. That is milk glass and I do like this pattern. Oh, this is not the one that has the pattern on the inside. Okay. So there's, there's a flower one where you see the whole pattern on the inside too. And I really like that one. Butter dish. Got a little, it feels like alabaster. I think he is. He is alabaster. He's got a little tiny bit of damage on his ear. Ear. An owl ear. Um, but I think we're going to get him. Alright, let's see if anything else calls to me. I do kind of like the glaze on that piece. But I don't think it's that old. Ooh, look at that glow kind of thingy there. It's kind of cool. And then it's a pair of green glass candlesticks. I'm surprised Jordan didn't see these. Something tells me, because they're varying heights, that there was a third one that went with these. But I wonder if she saw those, because she likes that green. And this is a Disserano... Oh, it says there's two of these. Oh, I see it. These are Disserano, um, and I do pick these up when I find them. Oh, we're gonna have to take their nice little scarf out and find a new home for it. We'll, we'll stick it down here in the pineapple glass. That's what we'll do. Keep their little decor going. Uh, but it's $5.99 for the set of two, and these do really well. So I'm picking those up. I like the rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. <laughs> it's 
design, but I don't really have that decor. Now I picked up a Fender, one of these, that um, ended up being a really good thing. So I may look that one up too, the Marshall. And the pineapple glasses are more contemporary. It's under, they've got to lift things and kind of look what they're putting stuff on and in. That is recycled glass, which is just gorgeous. I love it, but kind of a bear to ship. So I leave those big pieces behind, but I love them. I do love them. You know, this is my color blue over here. So I'm drawn to this section. And then shoes and hats and jewelry back here. One more little end cap I missed over here. Again, this looks like recycled glass. Orange. I don't think I missed anything else. Oh, maybe over there. I just happened to spot a bunny under here. Caught my eye with this little purple background. He's uh, he's not very high quality. I bet he's like a Hobby Lobby kind of a piece distributed by Walmart. He's a Walmart kind of piece, but he's only priced at five dollars, so that's a good deal if you like bunnies and purple. Girlfriends, right up there with booze and shopping. Okay, well, I'm not sure about the booze part, but the shopping part I do agree with. We got a red end cap, and I spot a marble apple for $3.99. It's in really good shape, too. I think I'm going to get the marble apple. And kind of looking down here at the trash can. Caught my eye. Kind of got 4th of July, Memorial Day kind of stuff coming up. Summertime, y'all will start thinking about the red, white, and blue kind of holidays. Those are pretty, but there's only three, and they're big and hard to ship in a box. It's not oversized. Got a nice little display of faux pearls. Makes them look bougie. Got some little, just some little plain teacups. Touch Me is the brand. Okay, well we did. And then we're going to leave you right there on the shelf. And look at... These look like reproduction. Yep, these are not actual um, depression glass, but this is Arca Rock by, by France. It's not by France. It's from France. I don't know if you can see that mark coming through. I'm trying to figure out how to get it to focus. Yeah, see it? See it in there? It's there. Oh, wait, maybe it's not Arca Rock. Now that I'm like getting a weird little glare thing going. Oh, let me explore this further. I did a quick look up and this actually has a pretty decent value. I really don't want six pieces of it though, even though it's a really good price. Um, Cause you know me, I don't like to ship plates, but Arca Rock is, is one of those brands that it's, it's okay to pick up and sell. I looked from the outside and I forgot to look on the inside of these little shelves here. That is Temptations. I don't know if that's coming through, but there it is. Huh. It's a kind of a made to look like a wood grain pattern. I'm looking for the price on this. I don't see one. Oh, there it is. $19.99. Yeah. I don't really like to invest that much into any piece of temptation so I'll leave it but very interesting that it's not a uh, pattern that I knew about that's a neat piece oh I see a little it's not really a chip and dip it's smaller than a chip and dip what would you do with something that size uh, it's 2000 oh wait hold on stand by okay right side up always works better. So it's Kristen 2002 made that. All right. Nicely done, Kristen. Nicely done. There it is. Kind of a plain Starbucks mug. 2018. This is a nice little set. Oh, it's that same pattern as the glasses over there. 
The small bowl is $3.99 and that one I can see is like $5.99. But that's chipped and bigger than I want to deal with because I'm pretty sure I'm running out of space in my car at this point. Jordan ditched me to go over to Taco Bell to get some food because she was getting a little hangry. So I see her, she just got back and I'm gonna see if she's gonna buy that little dresser because I think she should. These little fans are nice. Don't need no fans though. I got a piece of this, only I got it in a in like a greenish turquoise aqua. Aqua I guess is the right color. Let's see. Nope, I think it's a different maker because mine is actually a vintage piece. So looks like they made this to mimic the vintage piece of it. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous bowl. Sasaki glass is what this one is. There is the label still left on it. It's funny, it looks like, maybe it says ceramic, but that sure looks like glass to me. That's glass, it's not ceramic. That's really odd. <laughs> it's not, it's not ceramic. Spa kit. Stay. Jurassic World. What are you? This came from Universal Studios. Oh, that's a candle. Wow. That is a wild candle. You got the copper pineapples. Oh, I see a little birdhouse. Oh, I see a little owl bag. How much are you? The four ninety nine. dollars mm, Look at that cute little owl purse. And it looks like brand new. It's very, very clean. I think. I think I'm, I think I might pick that up. But this is what I was trying to look at. It is. Oh, are you a Scentsy? Oh, you are a Scentsy for $9.99. It's the little birdhouse Scentsy. I will grab you. What did I just spot? <laughs> I just spotted these little um, toast. Are they toast with jam and bananas and granola? and chocolate. Oh man, these are so cute. And just plain toast. They are $3 each. Oh, I am loving these little coin purses of strawberries. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. What to do? Look at these little coin purses, record players and radios. What does that say? Broadcast. Oh, and a piano. Oh, that's an accordion. Oh my goodness. Those are so fun. Oh, this one's like an old fashioned um, video game. Yes, video game, right? Yeah, like a controller. Oh, okay. I gotta get some of those. All right, last place I'm looking is in their high-end case where they keep things they don't want walking off easily. And sometimes I find some good things in here. Hey, I happen to know that's a really good price for that nest cam because that's what I just put up in the tortoise pen. So, and uh, I paid more than that. I paid more than that. I don't know what that is. 36 solid Sue Spargo. We got dishes sets. That one's really cool. Don't know who makes it, but it's Kind of a different pattern. And more china and shoes. Okay. All right, I'm doing one pass through because I know they were just bringing out some stuff and I don't know if this was out here before, I didn't see it. It's um really cool inlaid box. It's not an old piece. It's, uh, I'm trying to get that lid back on there so I can flip it over and show you. See, it comes from like a home goods kind of a thing. Uh, it was $29.99. Oh, it's 2017. The thing is, it's $5.99, but because it was 2017 and it was in a liquidation store, you're not going to find this again anywhere but in the secondary market. So I'm going to grab that. Jordan just found me a second one of the 
haul oyster plates. So I'm getting two of them. Okay, I'm in the middle of checking out and I just looked over and I saw this. He is, oh, he is stone. He is a stone kitty, a bright red stone kitty for, for $7.99. I'm grabbing him too. Well, that was a slow start and a big finish. I mean, you can see Jordan got some little dressers. Actually, I didn't even know there was two of them. So I talked to her into getting them both because there's so many things you can do with those. You can paint them, put cute little knobs on it. Now we just have to find some place in her house to put them, <laughs> which could be challenging. Um, doing she got some stuff to decorate she's got a shelf she wants to redecorate with we're gonna have some fun we're gonna have some fun tonight uh, we are stopping at another store that is nearby it is a Salvation Army and we usually do quite well at the Salvation Army so we're gonna get in here but you're not gonna see that on this video almost forgot I'm doing an outro you're gonna have to subscribe and hit that bell notification to come back to see the next video. So do that and go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. Hey, what are you doing? And here's the grand kitty. This is Dozer. <laughs> Dozer doesn't show up in very many of my videos because he just hangs out in the bedroom all day and uh Expends as little energy as possible, but we love him too. Huh, Dozer? You're a good kitty, yes. You're a good kitty. <laughs>